Hey guys, this is Kyle with Draw Attention, and today we're going to talk about a little bit of email hacking uh, in terms of bootstrapping resources. So um, for today's hack, uh, we're going to talk about how to set up a uh, free uh, custom uh, email address for your for your company. Um, this is especially important whenever you're you know trying to make you know uh, a little more personalization, uh, make maybe seem a little more professional instead of having like an at Gmail domain or something like that. Um, you know, having a, a custom email address uh, can really make a difference. And so today we're going to talk about how we can do that on the cheek, right? So uh, if you own a domain name, you're pretty much all the way there, right? Uh, in this specific example, I'm going to show you how we can do it with uh, Google Domains, uh, which is just an email, or a, I'm sorry, a domain name registrar, um, which I've been a GoDaddy fan for a really long time in terms of email and uh, domain registrations. Uh, they've really come a long way over the past uh, couple of years in terms of UI, UX, especially this past two years. Uh, but Google Domains just recently came out uh, into the public, and so I thought we'd put draw attention on there. I'm a very big Google fan, so uh, and I've say I'm, I'm quite impressed, so I definitely recommend it. So we're going to show you how you can do that via Google Domains uh, in here. So there's a couple things you're going to need um, to start off. So we're going to have our domain. Uh, set up in in our Google domains and we're going to head over to configuring email um, as you can see here that we actually have you know my name Kyle at .co, uh forwarded to Kyle Taylor gmail.com my personal address so if you hit that email it's going to forward it directly to my gmail address and I'm gonna have it show up so we're, we're gonna do a little experiment we're gonna do a fresh one off the bat I'm going to do uh, info at drawattention.co and it's going to forward to drawattentionco at gmail.com. So this is our was our main email address we have for draw attention related things. So I'm going to add that. Um, it's already verified. Uh, usually what will happen is that um, if you put it in, it's going to wait for a verification. It will send you an email. Uh, then you just click verify email address so, G or so Google knows, hey, this is a real email address. Um, great. And then, you know, move on your way. Once that's verified, we're going to head over to SimGrid. Uh, SimGrid is a great service uh, in terms of sending emails, uh, in terms of its platform. So if you need SMTP-related services or email-related services, um, it works really great. Uh, we use it at my day job. I'm web, a web developer, and we use it all the time. So I highly recommend it. Uh, it turns out um, it's, very, it's not very well known. So for instance, if you want to... Uh, pay for service, you can see, uh, you know, it's minimum 10 bucks a month for 40,000 email credits, things like that. But if you go to syngrid.com slash free, you will see you can get started with Syngrid for free. Um, you can send up to 400 emails a day with all the features, uh, which I don't know about you, I don't plan on sending 400 emails a day, um, so I think we'll be okay with that. So, especially when you're in Bootstrap, you know, once you start making money, it's okay to go ahead and start paying for the things you need. So, but for now, we can sign up for free. Um, once you go into the sign up process, they're going to ask you for a few things. This is very important. Uh, a lot of people don't know this. Um, I think it'll actually show you before you, uh, uh, you know, check out. But when you're putting in your email address and your website, it's very important that you have your, you're putting in your, um, you can call it your custom email address, right? So I'm going to put in Kyle at drawattention.co, and then my website must be, you know, that custom domain. If these aren't the same, and you're registering with the Gmail address, it uh, won't work, um, and it'll probably take longer to provision provision that account. Um, so make sure that you're using the same domain address on your uh, you know website and your email so I already have an account so I don't need to log in or I don't need to sign up so I'm just gonna go ahead and log in to our draw attention account I just did it this morning uh, it was super easy to, to get up and running so I'm gonna go ahead and log in and once you log in uh, this is really all you need so on the left hand side it's going to show you all the information that you need. Uh, really, we only need a username and the SMTP server. That's it. That's all you need to get started. Uh, in terms of the information that we're going to need to pass through, 
we're going to go into Gmail and we're going to go to the top right settings or the config, you know, gear button and then hit settings. Inside of our settings, we're going to go to accounts and import. Um, and here you can see there's a setting or a section called send mail as. You can add another email address you own. So we're going to click on that and we're going to might as well just put in draw attention and the email address is info at draw attention dot co. Next step. This is a step where you're going to use the send grid information. Um, I'm a Drupal developer by day and so we actually use this all the time. So if you look up, you know, just Google SendGrid Drupal, you'll find this. Um, this is actually the config you need uh, for the Gmail. So we're going to set uh, the SMTP server to smtp.sendgrid.net. And the username will be, if you look back at your account overview, that is your username. And then it's going to be the password for your account. And then we're going to set port either 587 or if you want, you can do um, port 465 for using SSL. So we're actually going to use that. So 465 SSL. That's it. We're going to hit add account. It's going to check credentials and it goes, okay, great. We're going to send an email to you and verify that this actually exists. So I'm going to wait for an email. And here we go. I got an email. And I'm going to put in the verification code. And that's it. That's all it takes. So now what you can do is that you can set um, where you want to reply from. So for instance, uh, when replying to a message, you can either always reply from the default address or you can reply from the same address. So we want to reply from the same address. So if someone email, sends an email to info at drawattention.co, we want to reply from info at, gmail uh, info at drawattention.co. Um, the reason why is so you can protect your personal address to make sure, you know, you're not getting a bunch of spammy things to your personal address and, you know, all of it will just hit um, the other address. One more extra step we can do that's actually kind of cool. Um, but before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and test this this uh, setup. I'm going to send an email. Whoops. I'm going to send an email from a personal account to info at drawattention.co. Uh, test email. What's up? You can't read this. It's on another screen. So I'm going to send that, and there it is, test email from my personal address to our uh, info drawattention.co. Now I'm going to reply using this, so uh, hey Kyle, send, awesome, since I have our accounts link I'm just going to go ahead and Log into our other one, my personal account. And then we'll see this. Hey Kyle, via syndgrid.net. And you can see if you drop down the information, it is from info at drawattention.co. And that's it. That is a that is literally all it takes to to get started uh, with a custom uh, a custom domain um, for your email address. Quite simple. The last thing we're going to do is actually set up a filter. Now, the reason why is because you don't, you'll still be mixing in your, um, you know, startup, e your company's emails with your personal emails. So we need to set up a filter in order to make sure they all go to the same spot. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a filter, um, create a new filter, and if it's to info at draw attention co, uh, let's see, we have two emails to that account so we're going to drop this down create filter create a filter with the search what we're going to do is we're going to apply a label um, so we can do new label info at draw attention you can name it whatever you want I mean you can call it startup company whatever you want to be and then hit create 
Now, on the left hand side, we have this label, info, draw attention, um, and any email that comes in via uh, that uh, with info, draw attention, it's going to go into this inbox. So, so that's it. That's all I have for you guys for today. Um, we're going to have a lot more of these videos coming out. So, you know, uh, you know, keep bootstrapping and keep hacking and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.